Hello and welcome to this video on how to create KDP designs for Kindle ebook and paperback using Canva on your Android phones. Now Canva can be a form of an app or a website. You can have the Canva app like this. It's very very easy to create designs with Canva whether you're a graphic designer or not. They have templates, already created templates you can just edit to fit your taste or you can start from scratch. Whatever the case, Canva is very, very easy to use. Unlike other um, graphic design apps, Photoshop and the rest, those ones, they are for experienced graphic designers. But Canva, even as a newbie, you can use it. Also, they have the web version. Let's say you come to Google and you type www.canva.com. When you type canva.com, it takes you to the web version. This is the web version. So you can still use it on the website. Pretty much the same kind of um, whole stuff. The same kind of knowledge if you have knowledge on whether the web or the app you are good to go so i have using the app for this um for this series for this video using the app for this so let's come back to our slide so starting with our kindle ebooks kindle ebooks are just books you can read on kindle the, uh, on uh, mobile devices or using the kindle unlimited app or using the fire tablet in the short form kindle ebooks are just ebooks softwares like soft copy of books they are not the printed version of books Kindle ebooks are not the printed version, they are the soft copy you can read on your phones, laptops, MacBooks, and so on. So, creating an ebook is very, very easy on Amazon. Also, creating the cover doesn't take much time. But I have some steps that help me create good covers on Amazon. I have some steps, and I would like you to know these steps as to help you to create good covers on Amazon. One, know the right cover to model in your niche, in your niche by studying your competitors. Now, when you go to Amazon to, let's say you go to research on what book to create, or you have a book already created in a specific, specific um, niche, you, it is very, very advisable to go to Amazon and look at what your competitors are putting out there. What are the best books doing that is making their um, books get more sales? Sometimes it can be just the cover. The cover is very attractive. So, let's just brush through this like before we do the particles. Know the right cover to model in your niche. Know the book size you are using. You can set different sizes of your book on Amazon. It's very, very advisable that you know the book size you are using. It should also match with your interior. That's your manuscript. Your book size should match with your manuscript. If you're using 8.5 by 11, it should be 8.5 by 11 on your um, book cover. If your manuscript is 6 by 9, it should be 6 by 9 on your book cover. If you're using the mobile version and your manuscript is A5, for A5, use 6 by 9 for a4 use 8.5 by 11 there are other sizes too. you can be on custom size but make sure the size you are using you know it because to help you not to get into um errors when uploading your book also create your blank workspace and set margins you also have to work with margins though for ebook it's not though these laws apply to both ebook and paperback but for ebook this um, rule doesn't apply that much kindle ebook um cover designs don't really have um problems with margin because it's just ebook when you're doing for paperback that's a printed version you have to be very careful about your margin because when the ebook is about to be printed if your texts are not well placed they can be cut off so amazon takes it very very serious that you set your margins right to help them print your book in the best way possible too much of everything is bad yeah these are mistakes some people make too much of colors too much of images too much of fonts and so on too much of elements your book is just like another universe uh, or the milky way things are just choked up there it's not good it's not it's even tons of customers one thing about designs i've learned from graphic designers is simplicity is the key a simple design can bring in millions and the one that wants to put every detail about his book with using graphics can just end up getting nothing because it's even annoying sometimes when i design my covers there's one thing that comes to my mind how will i feel if i buy a book if I hold a book like this to walk on the street, will I, will I have to use um, something to wrap the book? Maybe a, ha um, a handkerchief or use another book to wrap the book just to hide it because I don't feel comfortable holding the book outside. No, if you do a good book, someone wants to be holding it around, taking pictures with it and so on. So that's how I think about my book. Make use of negative space to give network. When I talk about negative space, now this is um, part of graphic design. There are the spaces of your design that have nothing. No text, no elements. You can see, you can see. Um, if, if you can look at my cursor, the white space above all this text, the white space around this text, are what we call negative space. 
So make use of them. Give your work a neat feel. Don't just jump pack everything there. Don't just jump pack everything there. Make your title readable, clear, and bold. Have you ever seen a book on Amazon? Not even Amazon. Like you've seen a book, you're wondering what is the title because things are just too much. Number one bestseller in different countries. So so things. So so that this book. You don't even know what the book is talking about. What's the title of the book? Things are just too choked up, drawing your attention on the cover. And on Amazon, your title is very very important. I tell my students that if you have a good title, you can sell with that title. And if you have a book cover that portrays your title, like somebody looks at it at a glance and your title is out there popping up. Come on, you have a bet, you can do something good. Use necessary images or elements. If it's not adding to the meaning of your book, it's not necessary. That's my belief. If what you're adding to your book doesn't really give anything, there is nothing you feel it doesn't, it's just there for their sake. Let me use that phrase. Now, if to me, just remove it. Sometimes I tell my students that some of the best books that sells just have a plain background and a bold font. Fonts, I mean by the font style for the text. Sometimes some of the best selling books have a bold background and um, a clear background and a bold font. For instance, when we go to um let's come to Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Let's um let me go to Kindle store. Kindle store. Okay. Now let me search for sell like crazy by um okay, yes, yeah, sell like crazy by Sabisuri. Let me just type it here by Sabri Subi. Now, this book is another book that uses a simple um, cover. You can see the cover here. You can see the cover here. Let me zoom in. You can see just the red background. The sell like crazy is very, very bold. Then the subtitle How to Get As Many Clients, Customers, and Sales as You Can Possibly Handle. Now, very, very clear. There was no putting off dollars, putting off cash, putting off briefcase, putting off people shaking hands, laptop, phones, and so on, just to portray money. Sometimes a clear title on a plain page can bring wonders. And this book, come on, is a book that has sold more. You can see the rating, four and a half star, five, 1,674 people have liked the book, commented on the book. So that's something that shows that the book is actually making sales. You can also see the bestseller rank 43,854. That's a good rank. It's number four in industrial marketing, number nine in industrial marketing, number 11 in marketing of small business. So these are um, criteria, um, points that make you see that this book is actually going well. And you can see the cover, nothing too complex. You can also use templates. Here on Canva, there are beautiful, beautiful templates you can use. There are beautiful templates. You just have to use the templates edit the text, can we change the color of the um, template, change some colors because one thing about templates is you and somebody can be sharing templates and sometimes Amazon might say you copied somebody else's cover and try to tell you to change it that's on a good day, on a bad day can lead to suspension or termination of account so you are using templates, you can just try to edit some things, change colors to make sure you are not in line with anybody else now for Kindle version, save as JPEG file for a Kindle version, you just save as JPEG or TIFF. That's I call it TIFF file. But for Canva, there is no TIFF saving, so just save as JPEG, and that is that. Also for paperback, for your paperback, that's the printed version. There are some few differences. You have to generate your book cover templates depending on the size you are using. Generate your book cover templates to get the actual measurements for your cover, so that you don't do shabby covers that will be returned hundred times for you to edit. Create a blank space on Canva and import the templates you downloaded to the background. I'll show you how to do all this. Now, import your Kindle ebook cover and finalize editing. Instead of redoing your design again, you can just, there's a way you can just input your Kindle cover on your paperback and just edit the whole page to just look as one. Then save as PDF print on Canva. We already said all these boring practicals, boring practicals. Practicals can be very, very boring. Let's go into practice. Let's go and make some book covers so let's start from our first point say them um, know the right cover to model in your niche so let me come to Canva. let me just say i search for let's say i'm making a book and the book is um centered around um, 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 um let me see let me see let me see give me a topic give me a topic okay let's say weight loss weight loss let's say weight loss let's see 
weight loss let me choose for books that are four star and up that's books that are really appealing to audience six weight six steps that the cover very simple diet rebel man sabit whole body reset glucose evolution obesity code the 14 day keto cleans fast eats you can see all these they are majorly used both fonts for their title and clear background no complex design you can see all this drop acid unlocking key code so all these now let's see looking for a beautiful cover that we can model let me um insert okay you can see this showing of food it's not bad so generally most of them just use plain background and and what's it called and bold font you can see this 28 diabetes diet plan for weight loss just half slice of pizza so let's say i'm making the cover on weight loss i want to do a cover that has incorporation of um food and so on so let's say i come to canva now this is my canva canva home so the next step is um setting like i said in my slide said know the right cover to model know the book size you are using so for majorly it's six by nine majorly they have seen you can do eight by five eight point five by eleven by six by nine so click on this plus sign down here if i'm using the app this plus sign click on custom size change i use inches so change it to inches if you if you calculate in pixels just change to pixels and put the size in inches that will be six with six height nine create design so let's wait for the blank space to open so now let's just now these are blank space you can see this is a blank space so i want to set the margins i want to set my margins on this page so you can see these three dots up here three dots you can see it here click on that you will see show margins show margins you can see it show margins click on that now you can see there is um a dotted line a faint dotted line that appeared you can see now that's a margin i will work with my margin that my major details like my title will not go beyond this margin though it's not necessary for ebook ebook you can see but i'm just showing you because when coming to paperback we might need that so make sure my what's it called my blank space i've set my margin now what about imagine that let me bring an element for instance let me just bring a shape um let me bring the shape now when i'm trying to take it outside the margin you see the margin begins to get highlighted purple now trying to show me that you're going beyond beyond margin so this helps me a lot to know that okay i am actually going beyond margin now delete so please note that this video is not a guide to um, graphic design with canva it's just how to show you how to create simple covers for your books on amazon now i showed, i said they can you can either use templates or design from scratch when you want to use templates let's say you come here templates i can just search for a template relating to my um book let's say weight loss weight loss now you already see a lot of beautiful wonderful good designs on canva you can see weight loss all these things you can edit them you can remove any of them you want so let's look for one beautiful one to just to just use now look at this for instance this is a template now you can see it has fit to my background template has fit to my background so this is how it look like now i cannot choose to edit all these things you can see or anyone i type on gets um, highlighted when i click on healthy diet let's say um let me call it weight loss formula weight loss let me type my book weight loss formula for dummies mm, that'd be nice let me just call it weight loss formula um so now this just comes to some kind of using of negative spacing allowing your work have enough space so 
this is my elements text element this is called text element so now i can move everything around this page even all this um um you can see all these pictures of food and so i can move them you can i can i can remove them self even so that just shows you how easy it is to use canva templates you can use Canva template like this so i can edit so let me just put this back now with the formula let me i want to see if you can fit on a straight line so remember also we talked about we talked about um what was it called we talked about making sure your work has spacing and also your title your title is bold so let me just delete this when we need it to add text so i can delete all this so now let's start with our title now this title to me this template is beautiful but actually i don't like it because the picture is more bolder than the title my focus is the title i want people to see my title so i can choose to bring all these things down a little bit to give me enough space to work with my title so i have enough space at the top so let's say change the font font style is the font style there are some fonts that you can get used to also i told you too much of everything is bad don't come and put two million fonts on your screen just make sure you have your favorite um fonts that are clear there are some fonts i work with that are very very like bold and that give me what i want I can use something like this weight loss formula then font size sorry font size increase the font size so to if you keep increasing I see that it keeps going down just make sure you widen the box widen the box widen the box so i can increase the font size now and it won't go down easily so in between the margins please within the margins now sometimes it can be that you're editing and you see that maybe you are finding it hard to place it at the middle let's say something like this it's not difficult just click on the elements come down here come down here once you come down here the next thing you have start to scroll to scroll to the um look for position position then click on center it takes you to the middle of that is um on horizontal is it horizontal or vertical but it takes you to the um, center the middle to bring it to the middle of the page vertically yes center takes you to the um middle of the page horizontally with um middle text to the center of the page vertically just <laughs> pardon the use of middle and center there. so let me undo i don't want it to be at the cent middle i want it to just be in center so let's say if i click left it goes left if I, let's say CLI and i click on center automatically it comes to the middle so weight loss formula can be like this then do i have a subtitle to add text just let me to add text click on this plus sign click on text down here and um if you're adding a heading use heading subheading then edit click on edit down here look at the button here edit this button click on it and um i can now write um learn the tested actually I don't have any book on this please i don't have any book on this topic i'm just forming everything down let me test that way to lose to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym and let's just use that for instance so i bring it here if i'm not sure if it's at the middle just go to position center so it becomes balance now you can see that my um subtitle is beyond the margin when you look at the edges you see i the margin so i can reduce font size and just sorry and just let me just reduce the size of the box yes so let me go to position position and case okay, already at the center so i can choose to change the color of this of this font I can change the color to black white i can even change the background color to whatever i want let's say i touch this background and i change just click on color now when you touch an element you see that it's highlighted by a purple box so let's say i click on this you can see it's highlighted Click on color any color i choose it automatically becomes that color any color i choose any color sorry any color i pick it becomes that color it becomes that color and sometimes there are some colors that you want to get but you can't find them on this palette here 
just come to this plus sign you see here see this plus sign here click on it now you can move this and move this this horizontal bar to change the color then this to change the intensity of the color so when i'm on pink i can get different shades of pink when i'm on yellow you can get different shades or something like green means green when i'm on yellow you can get different shades of yellow so you can see now sometimes you need some color there's some color that you want to get that you can't actually guess the exact spot that will be on this um on this spectrum it's easy just use this picker tool i call it picker tool you can see it's like a dropper here click on it now you can move it along the page anywhere you move this picker tool to the color of your of whatever you highlighted will change to that color anywhere you move it to now for instance let's say i move it to white and i click on done you can see my background has changed to white click on picker tool let's say i move it to this orange um the skin of this orange not the skin sorry the middle the inside you can see the color change to that color picker tool let's say i move it to this um black currant here the color change to the so i use this a lot to just make my colors look the same if i want to do it instead of trying to search for the colors like this manually it might not be very very sure so just click on this you can come here done so this the color of my um background you sometimes you can't change the picture of some elements for instance pictures some pictures colors can change some cannot change some cannot change and some um, pictures can only change some part of them for instance this picture this picture element when you click on color you see this white cycle around it i'm sure that's the only thing that can change you can see that's the only thing that can change the color you can change you can't change you can't change anything else that's just the only color you can change so let me leave it as white as it was for these two you see color once you click on color it changes the color to something else removes the picture entirely so with this i can just uh, make my um whole work look neater color should be black on this background when i use in a dark background use a light font when i use in a light background use a dark font color that's what i mean by i mean font i mean color but don't go and use black background and be using um let's say um dark blue front that thing is very very stupid using dark background and dark blue front is very very stupid use a light background and a um, dark font color use a dark background color and a light font color it will work well using black background can use red text yellow text white text they are very very um, good on black background so it's um, some shades of green the colors just generally light so um this i can make it bold bold i can also change the color to change the color to, let's see let me see something like this to just make it subtitle now with this you can choose to say i'm done with designing for my book I'm done with designing for my book. Just put now. What's left is your author name, and you are good to go. It can be as simple as this. Your book must not be complicated. Don't put everything everywhere. You can just choose and just say, okay, to duplicate an element. Sometimes instead of adding text every time, I can just click on this, then click on this um, um, icon here, duplicate. So I drag, edit, clear all the text, and just put a name. Let's say John, John James, for instance. If you are John James watching this video, nice to meet you. I'm just borrowing your name for this. Please spare me. You can make it bolder, italics, underline, change the font to capital letters or small letters by using this last icon here. When you click on it, see it changes the font to all caps or mix. You can underline the text and remove underline by using this. You can italize it, make it slant, you can make it bold or not bold you can align it right using this icon here align it center align it left now this is called justify if the text are much to make all the text have the same um same length that's line by line all the lines will be the same length so you can just do that so let me just choose anyone out let me use this so i can just, can just bring it down something like this just be creative so let me add by john james please yeah by john james so um let me change the color of this to black try to be different so it can be weight loss formula learn the tested way to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym i can go in my book like this i can go with my book like this so to do that just come to the top here you see an icon this icon here click on it 
click on download now for kindle version i say jpeg so click on this you see jpeg jpg or jpeg this click on it then if you're using the pro version of canva or free one thing different thing using canva pro and canva pro is that canva pro can allow you to use all the templates on canva any image you want to use on canva but by using the canva free some images and templates will not be able to work for you except you have the pro version so you can increase the quality click on download and voila your book cover for your kindle version has just been downloaded to your phone and you can upload it on amazon without getting problems now let's come and say want to start from the scratch now let me delete everything 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 you see on this page let's delete everything everything you see on this page now we are working with a blank background let's say you open a blank background from the scratch now you can just start with um what color do you want to use okay let's say i want to use um let me think um weight loss let me use white background let me use that white background now there are what you call elements click on this plus sign look at this element click on this element now here you can get shapes you can even get pictures you can get um what have you you can get different things just one thing about um, designs is there's one thing my my friend taught me on design he said whatever design you want to make you should have it at the back of your mind that's why i said that when you come to starting your listing you can just check on amazon get ideas from books that are doing well like you can see this 28 day diabetes diet plan for weight loss now let's do something like that come to your element here this is your element click on this search icon search for anything now search for pizza search for pizza so let's see let's see now you get a lot of um element about pizza now you can you can choose do you want photos only by clicking here photos only do you want graphics graphics are just um they are not real life pictures let me use that word they're not real life pictures you can see them here 3d 2d cartoon funny characters like that now photos you can show you pictures real pictures of pizza so let's see let's try to create a similar cover to the one we saw there on amazon let's see bam bam la la oh pizza is delicious chef no eating it so uh, let me just get some a pizza i'm looking for a nice pizza to model okay let me use this now this is my pizza but i'm trying to make it fit into my background so you can actually rotate how do i rotate there's an icon here you can see there is an icon here that allows you to rotate so let me say i rotate it like this or let me come back to how this is how the image came i can flip the image just click on the image come down here you see flip flip vertical flip horizontal okay this is flipping actually it's not rotation i'm sorry seems i missed it let me see there is no rotation icon down here so let me just rotate manually so just rotate and this straight so i can bring it here so you can use this to crop um a picture on canva when you look at the picture when you touch the picture you see some white white bars so with this you can crop you understand so i want to just let me see let me crop it i actually wanted using the white background according to our promise i said white background so what do i do how can i remove this black background when i think canva pro it's not hard you know if i use this black background i have to make my background black to make everything beautiful but i want to use a white background for this design so click on the picture come down here click on um effects this video is getting too long i'll have to stop it very soon click on effects click on bg remover here that's background remover and wait for your picture background to be removed if you're not using the canva pro i'm sorry it won't work that's why i advise you get canva pro you can join teams online you can subscribe anywhere you find to get canva pro and i can see my background has been removed it's now all white my pizza is white in color so i can just bring it here now let's try to expand ah is it getting any better okay let me reduce the size to let me just okay let's see trying to model this mm, 28 day diabetes diet plan for weight loss uh, let's see 
let's see so now what's next on the design we have the text so i can just come here click on text down here text now they're already there are models you can just pick from template of text you can pick from and edit if you like or just click on add heading and change font whatever you want there are different models here already or click on add heading now let's just say weight loss weight loss formula weight loss formula so for this i want to um format to do this just come down here click on format align right not align right so in with within my margin please don't take it outside within my margin so i can just bring it here weight loss formula weight loss formula if i'm not okay with the font i can change the font so next let me add a subheading tested way tested way to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym without hitting the gym so this now you can just do this to make it not get on top of the pizza design once that's done then formats come down here formats sorry formats right alignment so let me bring it here too let me do this yeah okay now there's something i want to know about um using your cover to get attention now the title of this book is weight loss formula right but there's something sparkling about this book tested do it to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym now i want this to be my focus of my audience so let me cut this page this part out cut so tested do it to lose now just watch the magic we are going to do with this so let me just balance this first now let me duplicate the heading because i need this bold font so let me edit it um select or delete so let me paste 10 pounds so let me remove this without using the gym coming so cut let me cut it out so now okay so let's edit it I want to, i'll change the color to make it look a bit different from the rest so let me align it to the middle now to change the spacing i see the spacing between the 10 and the pounds is too much come down you see you see spacing click on spacing list letter spacing to increase the space within between letters now this line spacing to increase the space between lines so you can see i've brought them closer so i can increase the size plus do the spacing so let's see which last formula tested way to lose mm, let me reduce this so i'm trying to work with my negative spacing here i don't want the whole work to look jam-packed sorry delete um okay duplicate this so let me edit it and clipboard and paste without hitting the gym so let's see with this you can just do some final touches some final touches sorry let me just centralize all this let me centralize it please centralize centralize so they don't look scattered because i'm already feeling bad that they are scattered okay let's still do it to lose 10 pounds once it's canvas when you're moving an element it shows you some kind of lines that helps you position the element so now for instance when i want to move this element to make it align with the two elements up here this is a text element now when i'm moving it some lines will be appearing now a line will appear at the middle to make me know that all these texts are aligned on the same plane so i can just do like this with lots of like tested way to lose 10 pounds let me change the color of this to something like red that shouts red tested way to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym so let me add final text edit by james john so font size can reduce it yeah so 
can just do your cover as simple as this it must not be complicated it must not be complicated something like so move the margin now the margin doesn't download with your cover when you download the margin it doesn't download with your cover your cover just appears as pure for instance if you download this download as jpeg it just appears like this this is how it will appear when you upload it on amazon this is how it's going to appear so i haven't think i made um what i call it an error in my editing now what's that error look at this our uh, picture you can see the bottom part here this tablecloth now the tablecloth shows a cut and that's not nice for your design so i can just bring it down here to make the cuts balance well something like this something of this sort you can see it it looks better this way than than actually than actually being up here with that cut like this so be careful of all these kind of things graphic design is a full-blown course our advice if you want if you want to learn more about graphic design i'm not a graphic designer you can just get a course on that but with these small clips you can create covers for canva now let's say um let me delete all of this or oh, let me see let me see let me delete this picture delete 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 delete, delete. so let's come back and bring let's bring back that picture is a black background where are you where are you where are you this is it so to make um the picture assume the background of the post so, um, assume the shape the size of the background i can just bring it to the edge like this or any edge just make sure you bring it to the edge then start dragging so it's just become my background you can see it becomes my background and like this i can just put my text so let me not waste our time edit weight loss weight loss formula weight loss formula Boom. change the color to something like white or brown yeah let me use brown so weight loss formula subheading um tested way to lose 10 pounds without hitting the gym so color let me make you white take it up here so just go to position position and center so it's outside the margin so i can reduce yep reduce so this now let me duplicate it and add my author name sorry i duplicated edit select all and delete james john so just and put it like this so this can just be a simple canva design for your book cover kindle book cover you can see i believe it's beautiful so just download as jpeg you may wonder since you have been doing kindle versions you are doing kindle versions what about paperback what about paperback what about paperback that's not hard to do the reason why i wasted my time doing kindle version is the fact that using my method when you have done your kindle version paperback can be done in a few seconds so let's just come back home on canva this is our home page on canva so now today our kindle version i said something i said um to do kindle version you have to get your book cover template now you can go to this link https.kdp.amazon.com slash cover calculator or if you don't have time to cram the link just come to your browser and search for kdp cover size calculator kdp cover size calculator search for it click on the first link you see there and we brought to a page we brought to this page now depending on your book um information but major books are using this information select type paperback interior type black and white paper type white paper um page turn direction left to right if you're writing arabic books right to left measurement units inches interior trim size now this way should also take notes 
the size you use for your Kindle cover, your Kindle, sorry, your um, book interior, not cover, please. Your book interior. I said if I'm using A5, that's 6 by 9. If I'm using A4, that's 8.5 by 11. So come here, there are different sizes. You can even choose your own custom size, your own custom size here. Clicking on custom things and put your own variables. So I'm using 6 by 9 inch. Number of pages. Let's say my book is 50 pages. Click on calculate dimensions after doing all of that. Now, this is your dimensions. Now we're working, we're working with the full cover width. Full cover width 12.363 by 9.25. So let's come to Canva. Click on this plus sign here. Click on custom size. Change to inch. Width 12.363. Height 9.25. Click on create new design. As our Canva is creating, we can come back to KDP cover size calculator. Down here, you see download templates. Click on download templates. So the template is going to download like a zip file. Let me open it. To download like a zip file. And you can upload zip files on Canva. So you have to extract that file. Now some phones like mine comes with extractor. It can extract some zip files on its own. But if you don't have, if your phone can do that, you can download apps online. Like Z Archiver to help you extract files from zip. So just extract. Let me name it um, cover. Name of the extract file cover one. So it has been extracted. Now you can see we have three files. There. We have the text, this first one. Second one is the PNG version, and then the PDF version. We're working with the PNG version on Canva. PNG version. So come back to Canva. Now let's see. Our page has been created, right? So click on this plus sign. Down here you see uploads. I want to upload something on Canva. I can upload videos. Can upload audio. Can upload images so let's say images then click on upload media then go to your phone wherever it will be download start to download a template cover one you can see it here cover one and um png version please this is png this is pdf the first one is pdf second one is png so click on png now to get uploaded on canva so just click on it once you get uploaded so this is the cover template now you have to make a cover template fit to your background you have to make your cover template fit to your background so like i said just bring it to the edge that's best so don't come and start doing it like this like this you will make mistake so let me undo just bring it to the edge make sure it's at the edge then just drag the other edge and voila it has assumed your background so now with this we can work with this now this part of your book since you're using left to right, this part is the front. This part is the front part of your book. So when designing your book cover, this is the front. While this other side is the back, this side is the back. This is the back, this is the front. So your cover should be here, then your the back of your book should be here. So now we have to look at the template. All these pink lines, make sure your information don't get there. This is the gutter, the middle line is the gutter. Then we have the um, margins at the edge. Now, when you look at all this, and this is also the spine, sorry, this is the spine too. So when you look at all this, you have to make sure your artwork, your um, pictures, your text, don't, your, it's really important details of your book. They don't come close to these pink lines because they might be cut during production. They might be cut during production. So with this, all you have to do using my method is just come to this plus sign. If you're using Canva on your mobile app, just come to gallery. You see gallery, but on the web version, there is no gallery. On the web version, you have to upload the picture just as the same way you uploaded the template. But if I'm using a um, um, mobile app to show gallery, so gallery, you see your designs on Canva already. Let's so click on this add to page. Now, once that has been added, you can just come here. That is your front. So, once you just make this kind of large. Now, as we are doing that, we try to monitor our main steps you can see there's a margin line that appeared when i put if i put you I'm, I'm not sure if you are seeing this now you can see dotted lines so when i'm dragging my background you will see so with this i'm able to place my text far away from any pink line that will make amazon say hey you need to edit this so when i've positioned it well let's say something like this i think let me see let me bring it down a bit now the reason why i brought it down and i'll show you why now to me i've placed my cover but you may be feeling this is not okay now you can't publish your book like this of course i'll have to fill in the other backgrounds so let me just get an element let's say element get a square 
or rectangle so i got the square got the square now let me just come here expand the square to cover the whole page please cover the whole template amazon doesn't want to see the template now i've covered the whole template so now you're wondering where is the text just come to position position now I'm backward so you see the text the background i just brought the um rectangle square box i've been taking backwards so with that this is my cover this is the background so i have to just change the color i have to change the color of my background so click on color now i want to use speaker tool can you speaker tool to just move around to get the color i want so let me use this color done now it's not matching well it's not matching well so that's one thing i want it to match with the background i don't want it to look separate so um color picker to bring it to the edge of this cover done okay let's remove the margin and see click on the three dots up here on tick show margin so this can be our cover for our book paperback it's okay like this so you don't have to design paperback from scratch using this method you just have to import your paperback your um, kindle version on your paperback and just make the colors match themselves now this will be the back of the book now if people, some people used to ask me how can i add um auto information like all those books that have auto information at the back it's simple you can just manipulate canva click on this plus sign let's see um let me get um let me get a box a square i can put it here like this but you have to be careful now let me click on the background and make it transparent now, to increase transparency just come down here transparency so like this i want to just be seeing the templates at the back so i don't make mistake by putting my text at the edge so i can just put a box like this and this box is where you put your picture right just as it mostly mostly is and then i add text come here plus sign text you can use small text now Maybe I've written all you want to write, just whatever you want to write, write it as much as possible. So, so auto hills from blah 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 state. So, you can just expand it, expand it within the margin, just expand it within the margin so your text should not go out. Then, write all you want to write, and that is that with Canva. You can reduce spacing, increase font size, and everything will be fine. So, I don't want to do that for this book, I don't see the need. So, let me increase the transparency of my background back transparency increased so that is that for this session of um graphic design with mobile apps like canva so you just have to download for paperback click on this download icon up here at the top right download change from png to pdf print if you're using the chrome um, pro version you'll be asked color profile now for digital use rgb for um printed version is c m y k so i um, cyan magenta yellow and what's k um i forgot what color k is but cyan magenta yellow and that's the color code then the, the rgb is red green blue so this is for printing so just choose this and click on download and there you go your book cover is sweetly on amazon without you guys don't amazon without any problem of saying your text is close to the margin everything you can see everything is highly optimized here everything is highly optimized here on your book cover and i'm sure somebody likes get this kind of book i mean it's dope i like black color don't mind me so that's just me so that's that for this video i hope you enjoyed it got a lot of value and you can also be creative graphic design generally has no border don't limit yourself have a nice time